This video will discuss how we go from an equilibrium constant based off the pressure of gases to one that is based on the concentration of those gases. So for the ideal gas law, we have PV equals nRT, pressure times volume equals number of moles times gas constant times temperature. And the concentration of a gas is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume of the gas, which is the inverse of the molar volume. And that is equal to, according to the ideal gas law, pressure over gas constant times temperature. Okay, so if we look at our prototypical reaction here, we have nu A times A plus nu B times B, reactants A and B, stoichiometric coefficients A and B, both in the gas phase. And we produce products C and D, each with stoichiometric coefficients nu C and nu D, both in the gas phase as well. All right, so uh, we can do things like taking the pressure of, we can take this ideal gas equation and we can take it to the power of nu i on both sides. We'll get this kind of expression here, that the pressure of an individual component in this reaction to the power of its stoichiometric coefficient equals its concentration to the same power times the gas constant times temperature to the same power. So what we have here is if we take our equilibrium constant, Kp, which is in the numerator, the pressure of the products divided by the standard pressure of one bar to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients divided by the same thing in the denominator for our reactants. This is equal to, if we solve, if we solve this and substitute in for the um, P to the nu, what we get is the concentration of our products divided by the standard concentration to the power nu c. For our products, they're all in the numerator. Our reactants, they're all in the denominator. Then times from this term here, we get RT over P naught to the power. We get a positive sum from the numerator and a negative sum from the denominator. Nu c plus nu d minus nu a minus nu b. So our equilibrium concentration our concentration equilibrium constant, if we have our concentrations expressed in molarity, in, as mole per liter being the unit, then the standard concentration is one mole per liter, and we get our simplified uh, concentration equilibrium constant, which is the concentration of our products to their stoichiometric coefficients, divided by the concentration of our reactants to their stoichiometric coefficients. So it we get just the same kind of expression for concentration as we do for pressure, but we need to, to convert between these two, we need to know how the number of moles changes during the reaction, and then what, and then doing this conversion in terms of RT over P naught. So we'll define the quantity nu. Nu is the change in the number of moles of gas uh, going from the products to the reactants. So we have nu C plus nu D, the coefficients of the products, minus nu A minus nu B, the sum, the negative sum of the coefficients of the reactants. So our equilibrium constant in terms of pressure equals our equilibrium constant in terms of concentration times the standard concentration times the gas constant times the temperature divided by the standard pressure all to the power of nu. So the only thing we need to be careful of here is that we choose the correct units of concentration, pressure, gas constant, etc., based off of whatever uh, P naught and C naught are. So typically it's easiest to express this as one bar and this as one mole per liter, but note that one mole per liter is not an SI unit. Uh, liter is not the SI unit for volume, meters cubed is and uh, 1,000 liters is one meter cubed. So you can uh, get tripped up in the interconversion there. Just make sure that you uh, take care that whatever unit you use for R, you use the correct unit of P naught and C that goes along with that, uh, expressing whatever one bar and one mole per liter is in the units that you use for C and for P.